these are just some basic uh, obedient postures that you can run through with Ace. So Ace comes around here, he spins up, he sits, good. Now when we move, we say Ace heel. We just move in a circle and we get him to sit. Now alternatively, we can move the other way too. I just open up my hip, rotate him around, get him nice, good. And then I'll just mark it with good. So let me just do that one more time. So here, if he's out in front of me, good. I just drop this left leg back, rotate him around, sit him up, good. I mark the good and then I feed him here, okay? So I'm gonna use that marker word every time before I feed him. Just about a second before I feed him. So like if I ask him to lay down, good, and then I feed him. Now, when I feed him, I feed him in threes. So I go one, two, three, and then usually I'll just say, okay, good. And you see how he was waiting for another piece of food and then it allowed me to release him. If you don't feed him in threes, he learns that you feed him one time and then he just gets up whenever he wants to. We want to reprogram him to keep sitting or keep laying down or whatever we ask him to do until we say, okay. And then I'll toss some food for him that time just to let him know like after okay, he can break his posture. So I just drop the left leg back, spin him around, get him to heal. Perfect. All right. If I want to, if I want to uh, create a little space, I could just put this here and then just say, ow, not, not ow, but just say, uh, okay. Or just find it, get him out in front. When he comes back, I drop that left leg back, spin him around, get him to sit. And I compare the word heel with that. So I'm just gonna keep, keep this train going. Okay, he's gonna find that. I'll say heel, I tap the leg. Good, and then, I, and then I feed him. So here again, I step forward just a little bit. Heel. You gotta keep your legs closed because he tries to get in between them because you guys taught him to do that, but uh, I don't really teach him to do that because I don't find any any functionality in that in my daily life. So, so here again, we walk forward, we tap the leg, heel. He spins around, sits, good. And you see that that was like his third or fourth time today, so he got pretty good at it. So then I'll just continue to feed him here as long as he stays, but usually about three about three treats and I'll say, okay, find it. Good. And then I'm here again, heel. Good. So this is like one exercise per se. Okay. The exercise is he finds it and then he returns to home base. Heel. He hears heel. And then he comes back and he parks it perfectly. Good. Now you guys saw him strike my hand earlier because he took food a little hard. We call that in dog training, a dog with a hard mouth. And so what I said was, ow, ow, like that. It lets him know that he hurt me. It's kind of like a puppy whining for hard play. Okay, find it. Heel. He doesn't know the verbal command yet. So heel. Yes. You see how that works? Perfect. He's very, he's very intelligible, but we got to get you guys operate in the right way to get the right results out of him. Up, good, up, good, good. Here again, treat him once, treat him twice, treat him three times, and then I'll just release him. Okay, good. Come on, good. So typical stuff, sit, lay down, good. Sit, sit. Ah, oh, not a rollover. <laughs> good boy, sit, good. And so, so here's, here's another little tidbit. Dogs throw behaviors, and uh, I call it throwing behaviors because they're just trying to get the food the fastest, okay? So if he were to roll over and get a piece of food, he would just know that when I said what I just said, that that means to roll over, and that's not the case. So like, if I sit him, good, lay down, good. So that I'm marking what I'm asking, he completed. Okay, so he just he doesn't just need to get food. He needs to, he needs to have his behavior marked. So if I say come, good, sit, good, then he gets some food. Now, if I just say come and he doesn't get food, and then I say sit and he doesn't get food, but I don't mark it, 
then he doesn't know if he just completed the task I was asking him to do. So along the way, I got to tell him that that is what I asked you to do, but you might not get food for that. So come, good. That was good. You did the right thing, but you're not getting food. Sit, good. That was the right thing, but you may get food. And then he does get food. All right. You work them a little bit harder and it kind of moves the dog from what is an elementary education idea to a little bit more complicated or a little more complex because I'm asking more of him. Cuff, good. Cuff, good. Cuff, it's okay. Cuff, good. Lay down, good. So he knows that he did everything I asked him to do each step along the way, regardless of who. Okay, so it's more about building communication than it is about just doing something and getting something. Up. Good. So we're gonna swing him around here. Heel. Good. And so now I do it from a different perspective, right? Leo! Leo, stop, please, bud. So I'm gonna bring him out here and I'm gonna say sit. Good. I'm gonna sweep this across my body and say heel. Yes or good. Yes and good is the kind of the same thing. They're like synonymous in my world. Uh, some people might use good for continuation and yes as a pay as a pay marker. So like sit, good, heal, yes, pay. So you might good, 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 and then yes. But for me, I just use good and, and yes as the same, same word. So uh, I wouldn't be too concerned with it. Good. All right. All right, so we're gonna move into another idea here, all right? And that is the idea of stay, all right? So when I get a dog to stay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him some food, I'm gonna say stay, and um, it's important in this drill that you don't drop food or you don't give the dog more than he can handle so he doesn't drop food, okay? So I'm gonna just, I'll just keep it here because he doesn't seem to wanna let me move it, but. We'll just say stay, <laughs> stay. If he looks down, I'm gonna say no, or <laughs> which means that's the wrong answer. Stay, good. Stay. And then his release is okay. Awesome, and you see he already understands that just a little bit. So uh, what I'm gonna do is get him up. left or right then he falls off um, and so he really doesn't he just has enough eh, 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 eh. so we'll say no no ace that wasn't good come back up here and sit down good sometimes I get particular about sit and down because they're not the same but for ace since he's only been here for about 10 days if he's if he lays down when I say sit or if he sits when I say lay down I kind of just take it because I don't want to I don't want to nitpick them too much. Stay. Okay. Good boy. Now, this was full when we started. Just as a reference, this was full. This was probably mm, maybe a pound of meat, all right? He is a working dog, and he goes through a lot of energy because he's a high-energy dog. And so... Um, if I tried to do this with kibble or something that wasn't as desirable, he wouldn't be as responsive and we wouldn't be able to build the communication and the bond that we have in such a short amount of time. So um, he needs to want to work for the handler and to get that relationship right and to get that leadership right, you need that motivation so you can build that communication. So that's a really important part of training that people try they try to go into uh, manipulation and they try to go into physical corrections too quickly and they don't have a bond to work off of. And if they don't have a bond, then they don't have the communication. So it's kind of like going into uh, pressure and physical manipulation without communication and no motivation. And it just doesn't work if you're trying to build character. It will 
put a dog in its place, but it, it's not good for the longevity of the relationship. So come, good, sit, good, up, good, sit, uh, that's okay, up, 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 good, sit, very good. Uh, and here again, if I didn't want him to lay down instead of sit, I would just kind of go through something like this where I can just, come on, sit, sit, good. So I can, I can just go through sit and then go, to go into lay down. So if he gives me lay down, I'll just go back into sit, good. I mark, I mark it here and then I continue to pay. That's one, two, three, okay, okay, good, up. Up, good, sit, yes, nope, sit, good, good, so that's one, two, and I do this because I don't want him to collapse back down, no, sit, sit, good, good, now from here I can get a stand if I want, yes, good, and so here, stand is a little bit more difficult for dogs, but it's okay. Put it right on their nose and draw them forward, yes. I mark the yes there. I push back into their body so that they find those feet. And then I reward after they find the feet. So I'm gonna do that one more time. Any? Hey, find it. Okay, up, 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 up. Good, so we'll do sit, nope, sit, 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 good. I'll pay him there, and put it right on his nose and draw him forward, yes. And I'm gonna push back into his muzzle to make sure he doesn't sit. Good. Oh, you find your feet, bud. Sit, sit. Good. And up. Stand. Stand. Yes. Stand. Yes. And you see, we found a little confusion there, so we kind of go back to what we know. Sit. Good. I'm gonna bring him around into a heel. Good. I'm gonna say up, 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 up. Good. Lay down. Beautiful. There he is. There he is, it's Mr. Ace. I try to start working in some affection with this as well too, just so he realizes that the hand will come in and give him a little bit of praise, give him a little bit of love, but that doesn't mean necessarily he gets food. Sit. He's working through this. Good. Good. Here. Good. Good. We're gonna try something. I think he'll fail here, but we'll try it. Stay, sit, stay, stay. Okay, very good. The last bit is just gonna be all stay and okay. So up, stay, okay, good. Up, stay, okay. I don't care if he sits, lays down, or stands. It's not the point of this drill. The point is that he can, he controls his impulse to get until I tell him he can't. Stay. I reward that here. Stay. Okay. Very good. So you don't have to dump pressure on him to stay. You can treat him and praise him for staying. But just know that if you praise him with affection, he's going to take that as a release. But if you, if you give him some food for acknowledging that he's doing right by staying, then you just tell him to stay after you give him the food and then you release him off. Ace, come. Good, Ace. Stay. Okay, very good, Ace. Very good. As a last bit, this is how I always train dogs to eat, okay? Sit, stay. I get a piece, uh -uh. stay. Get a piece of food, get him to lay down. Stay. Okay. I get him to sit. No, don't be impulsive for the food. I'm gonna put the food down. I take another piece of food. Get get the sit to the sit to the lay. Stay and then okay. So it's kind of a double behavior, and then I just kind of let him lick the bowl or whatever afterwards. But I'll chop this up into a few videos. I hope this helps you guys, and we'll see you soon.